Hello and welcome. All right, so Netflix decided to give us a crack at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, and well, it definitely wasn't that good, but it definitely could have been worse. But before I get into it, I'll keep it as spoiler-free as I can, but come on, guys, it's a Chainsaw movie. Spoiler alert, people get sawed in half like in Gears of War. <laughs> All right, I'll give a quick synopsis of the film before I give my thoughts on it. So basically, the movie is a sequel to the 1974 movie about 50 years later and follows these young entrepreneurs, Melody, and her sister Ly Lila, Dante, and Dante's girlfriend Ruth, brought up. They they bought up this old town in Texas to auction off to these bulk fists, I to gentrify the area. I guess the movie didn't really explain it that very well. Any anyways, when basically the only person there doesn't want to leave, she gets forcibly removed. And well, guess who she's been taking care of the whole time. And when she kind of decides to die, this starts off the rampage and really kicks off the film. The worst thing about the movie is the first twenty. 30 minutes of it. Man, is it boring. Listen to these 20 some riding around in their Tesla acting like big shots better than everyone else. When, from what the movie shows, they've literally done nothing. Kind of felt like they had it fleshed out more, but cut and stitched together for time really made the opening act a bit confusing because you see these children selling abandoned buildings, but you have no idea why. So you kind of have to piece it together. They could have gave us more of an explanation when the cops stopped them. Perfect time to spew its max position. Oh well, I guess. Anyways, that's what made the first 20 minutes painful to watch. Maybe that was the point you guys to hate them? I don't know. Just a heavy rush story that felt like to get us to killing. Oh, and I don't know if this is going to be a thing now with all these legacy characters in these remakes, like in Halloween and Scream, where they had the original survivors come in for like member berries, but in this film, with a 50 year time jump, she's like 80 now. How is she supposed to stop him? But it made it unbelievable when she's like 105. And oh, and it, oh, it gets even better later. But it's not all bad. Once the killing starts off, it gets to be a pretty good slash. I know most critics were really railing it, but if you make it through the first 20 minutes, it's not so bad. The killings are over the top, especially the first one where she, where he breaks the guy's arm in half and stabs him to death with, with his own arm bone. And the busting, <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. Yes, it is a bit unbelievable. Like, there are like 20 of you, you could have discharged him. But on the other hand, considering the people on the bus, it's it's what you think in today's climate, exactly what you think would, what was going to happen. Them all running around waiting to be chainsawed. Try anything and you cancel, bro. The showdown between Leatherface and Sally, the original survivor, was dumb. She didn't kill him when she had the perfect chance, just chainsawed, just got chainsawed, and somehow she was alive a bit later to save a character, even though she's a uh, chewed up corpse. She's just a chewed up corpse on the floor with her eyes rolling. The end showdown was okay, nothing special, but overall typical slasher and showdown, which pretty much is what you expect from this movie. Overall, it's not a terrible movie. The worst thing about this is the first 20 to 30 minutes of it, and after that, it's a good slasher film. A lot of blood and gore, and it shows everything from people getting dismembered to getting curb stomped, like in Gears of War. It's a nice horror film to shut off your brain and just watch Wokies get chopped up. Not, not many dumb jump scares, and in 81 minutes, and it it comes and goes real fast. Definitely not a movie that will change or revamp the genre, but a decent enough one that can shut off your brain to and keep you entertained if you like that sort of stuff. Anyways, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next one.